Oh, and welcome. I'm Zinder, and here we are once again playing Resonant Rise. And, uh, I want to get something done. This is something I've been thinking about doing ever since I got the turbine systems kind of set up down below. So, what we're going to need is we're going to need one of these. This is the ME controller. We already have one, but... Whoops. Uh, I've got a bunch of... What do I not have for that? Oh, fluix dust. Uh, we'll make a stack of that. Shouldn't be an issue. I got a bunch of that stuff prepared in advance. So, so we're going to make an ME controller. Now, we obviously are going to need that for a very good reason. Uh, that said, we're probably going to want my ME conduit. And what I want to make is I want to make some of these peer-to-peer -peer tunnels. Now, I'm going to need... Uh, I'm going to make four of them, I think. Yeah. Uh, one, two, three, four. And that means I'm going to need four of these. One, two, three, four. As you can tell, I'm not 100% prepared, but I'm mostly prepared. That's got to count for something, right? Right? I hope. So, now, in order to properly use those, we're going to need... Oh, what am I missing? We're going to need the uh, the memory card here. So, now we have ourselves a blank memory card. And I believe we need a bucket in order to set this. Uh, you know, let's not use... No, can't use that aluminum? I thought I could make a bucket out of aluminum. Oh, well. Uh, my supply of iron's getting a bit lower than I'm kind of comfortable with, but not a whole lot I can do about that. So, down here, and I wanted to get this done because we're getting close to another cycle, sort of. Okay, not really. But, I'm going to position this. Ah, this resolved my problem here. This is the regular redstone conduit. This is insulated. This isn't. So basically my problem was that was insulated so it wasn't designed to connect to a regular redstone port uh, if that was bundled it might have but I doubt it so this should function now uh, I'm going to position this guy right I'm going to put it right here so what he's going to do is his entire purpose is to supply power because I'm going to pop this out whoops uh, shouldn't be an issue should still have his numbers retained as you can tell I took out the other one uh, yep number is good so what we want is we want a peer-to-peer -peer here and a peer-to-peer -peer here now we need this here because the network needs to get a source of power in order to function and I realize that looks odd but that is the case so I believe that should now be set setting the save to memory card settings loaded from memory card so that should technically send it through uh, is there no way to configure these? Oh. Uh. Okay. So you saw how that was blue. That's because I needed the bucket to set it as a liquid. Ooh, give me that. And I was using this on the power setting to do some cable swaps. Because I switched out my crusher for a factory. And, anyhow, basically what I want to do here is now I want to run the same stuff on this side. I'm using a different controller because I didn't see a need to run all the ME cable down here. I mean, later on I will whenever I want to actually handle automated import and outporting. Im uh, importing and exporting, rather. So, but I'm not currently at that point. 
So I believe these can handle up to a thousand millibuckets a tick, or in a one bucket a tick. But I'm not one hundred percent sure on that. And as you can see, I can't get any kind of settings for it. So this may not necessarily be true. But we can do. I want to know how much power this itself draws. Uh, two point six Minecraft joules a tick. Eh, you know what? It's worth it. So what I do want is I'm going to get uh, do I have any switches? No. Do I have any levers? No. I do know I have a redstone torch. And I'm going to get a piece of dirt. So we'll put this here. And it doesn't look like it does anything, but when I put this here it powers it. And as you can see it turns that on as well, which is what I'm after. Uh, why are you not... Can you not transfer at that speed? Oh, that's not good. That is so very not good. No, wait a second here. Was that even outputting? This does auto eject, right? Uh oh. Rot oh. Ooh. Hmm. These peer to peer tunnels may not be functioning as I had hoped. Ah, oh, I guess we're going to have to go for plan B. Which is, first of all, we're going to need fluid things from extra cells. Uh, ugh. Oh, this is disgusting. You know what? But let's just go overboard. Let's just make 16 of these. So we're going to need... Uh, well, crap. One, two, three, four, eight. Eight should get us somewhere, right? One, two, three, four. Okay. Oh, of course I need sticky pistons. No. Sticky piston. And of course I only had one piston. Game, why are you conspiring against me? One, two, three. Okay. So now, what I definitely want to do is I want one more sticky piston. And now, if we take the regular pistons, this will make the export buses. Uh, covered cable. M E K hmm. This is a lot more of a complete pain in the arse than it was supposed to be. That's all I'm gonna say. One, two, three, four. Okay. Uh, no, stop. No, stop. One, two. Three, four. Of course, I need buckets. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, what is the smallest size thing I can make? That is an adjustable ME storage, which is not what I'm after. Uh, no, I need liquid. Liquid? 1K? Uh, I can store 5 fluid. It only needs to store 1 fluid type. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1. Oops. 1. 1. Crap. Crap! Why do you do these things to me? Game, why do you hate me so? 
One, two, three. Oh, you've got to be screwing with me. Take it. Deal with it. Give me what I want. Thank you. Now, I should be able to from my system here. Because I haven't removed this from the system yet. I mean, chest is successful. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay, so here is the new plan on this here. I'm going to pop this ME chest. Uh, I'll put it on top. Like so. I'll pop this off. Pop this off. That. And that. Alright. So peer to peer tunnels. Fluid import bus. Oh. That is not the way you're supposed to be facing. Okay. And you are the fluid export bus. Uh, right. Why do you. Oops. Why do you do these things to me? Ah. Uh, ah. And. Ah. Uh. Right. So now, how am I going to get a bucket of steam? I have an idea. Let me get, oh, oh, it is in there. Cool. So what I'm going to do then is temporarily remove you. Oh, doing this wrong already. Gone to it. Gone. To it. You know what? You'll do. Steam. Cool. Can I get a bucket of steam? Steam cannot go in a bucket. Steam. What are things I can put steam in? I can make a bottle of steam. That seems interesting. Do I have any bottles? Probably not. Oh, I do. Bottle of steam? Can I then... Well, you should be able to do whatever. Can I export steam? Always active. Import steam. Twenty thousand buckets a second. Yes, yes. So, is that going to actually support steam? I see steam entering it. You're not generating as much as I'm expecting here. Oh, 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 oh. It's because the system can't hold steam. It can't output steam because it's not receiving steam. What's going on here? No. I don't... I don't understand. Something is not working as it should be in this situation. I don't... I don't understand why it's not pulling the steam out as fast as it says it is. Or as fast as it says it should be. Huh. That's unfortunate, because... Oh. Well, that didn't make a difference, but that was going to be an issue. Uh... I don't understand... Shouldn't it be...
be able to do that. That's two things now that have completely decided to hate me. Mm. Fine. To heck with your AE network. To heck with you and your stupid system. You are not working as advertised, and it's annoying. So I'm just going to hope that one thing of water can keep up with this. I don't see why it wouldn't. Oh, another cool thing, I'll, I use portable tanks for disposing of stuff, because if you break it normally, it empties it. So, how are you doing now? You're generating 1,216 millibuckets a tick. Although, that's probably not going to last yet. So, here's where altering the control rods comes into play. Because what I'm going to do is I'm definitely going to want to heat this up. Alright. How are you doing now? Generating about 1300. And as long as you're generating 1216, that should be good. You seem to be staying adequately full. How's your water level doing? Seems to be staying adequately full. Adequately full. So, my AE system, unfortunately, did not work as well as I had hoped it should. I don't know if it's an issue with throughput related to the ME conduits from Ender IO or what, but it failed. And I am disappointed. Anyhow... That is now spinning up. This is getting pretty close to speed, and we are generating, by the time this is done, we should be generating about 13,000, roughly. Although, it's technically not receiving a power signal anymore, so I would have to turn this off manually. Uh, looks like it's stabilized... Uh, it's still going up a bit. Let's put a notch on you. How does that affect our output? We've been outputting 1,216 for a while. It, this is a lot of what's going on here. Whenever it comes to turbines, a lot of playing around with the numbers, trying to get things just right. I'm using not a half of a millibucket, but half of a half of a millibucket per tick. No, not even a half. A half of a tenth of a millibucket per tick. So a twentieth? Yes, about a twentieth. Uh, as you can see, the fuel's not going up too terribly quickly. And I've got a lot of yellow orium because I went with the sag mill method. Yeah, 4,000. In order to get the cyanite to make the second one here. And all in all, I'm pretty pleased now, I think. Uh, you are... Are you stable or are you still going down? It's still going down. Hmm. Eh. I think it's good. Uh, we're using fuel pretty slowly considering the fact that we're generating about 13,000 yeah 13,033 RF per tick nice 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 so I can turn this back off and let the automatic handling deal with it itself uh, do uh, please tell me it got efficiency 
Oh, it only got efficiency. Uh, we'll throw these things in here, and I guess I'll have to try and sort that out later. Boom, ba doom, ba doom. And we don't need you. So, I decided I needed a third laser, which is currently in my network here. And I'll just throw that in here. It has efficiency one. Uh, ooh, cool. I finished it off. All three of these now have efficiency five. I'm going to need a conduit. I'll just use an orange one, because why not? Oops. There we go. So now I want to show you guys how ridiculous this is. Let's get some gold. I'm going to need to get some more redstone soon because I'm not doing so well on redstone. <laughs> 390.72 Minecraft jewels a tick. Look how fast it is crafting these redstone golden chipsets. This is absolutely just bonkers. And yeah, it's putting a heck of a drain on the system, but this is part of the reason why I got the power system upgraded. This is why I doubled our output, because lasers, for one. I wanted to make sure that even if I put a fourth laser on here, I would be able to support it. And I might do that. I actually might put a fourth laser onto this thing. Uh, I had to make a new pick because the other pick, I ended up with just a Fortune 3, and I haven't set up anything to deal with that. But I'm going to eject this pick into the system. And... Whew, I'm not sure how long I spent on that. This might end up being shorter. Actually, no. No, it's not shorter, and we're not done yet. Uh, here's what I'm going to do. I made a pattern and co oh, apparently I had already gotten one at some point. Here's what it takes. It takes a conversion matrix, a crafting table, and iron ingots. So, we're going to plop this down. Eh, we'll put it right there. Now, that's all well and good, but in order to use that, we need that is not how you spell it applied at all. We need to make ourselves some blank patterns, which is made like so. So we're going to need two glass. Ew, I don't really have any glass. Three glowstone. And I've already forgotten the rest of it. Uh, Certus quartz and iron. Iron. Three, thank you. And a Certus quartz. Okay, so, blung, 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 blung. So, now the goal of this first pattern is, this is part of NEI plugins it allows you to shift click in. I think it's plugins, maybe it's add-ons. But the first thing we're doing is teaching our AE system how to make a blank pattern. Now, obviously we don't have any glass, so that's not going to get us too terribly far. Uh, how much sand do I have? I don't have to do. I'll worry about that later. For now, I just need glass. And basically now what we can do is I can go in here, and now if I look at blank... Oh, I haven't hooked it up yet. Derp, 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 Okay, let's stop being an idiot. Uh, we need to go up one floor. Yes, here we are. And let's see if that's that way, then the, the ME crafting should be just in here somewhere. That's the end of the roof, and that's the start of the roof. Then here. 
should be the center. It's not necessary to be in the center, but I like it there. Aha! Uh -huh. And we'll throw down a blood lamp for safety purposes. Whee! That might have been a little bit too far. Okay, so we will throw these things in here. And now if we go over here and look at blank, we can now request these. So let's request 20. And I've got a lot of CPUs in there, so it will spit things out really quickly. And I think what I'm going to do is the power system in here. I think I might add another layer on the outside. So I believe the number I came up with was 120 more. So this will be able to support uh, 245,000 RF a tick and it should hold roughly twice what it does now so it should hold over a billion pretty close to that because why not why not but I wanted to show you how to get the auto crafting going I'm not sure what that little FPS spike was about It that, that's basically the end of it for the ME crafting you just encode your pattern Call it good. Now, I could teach the system how to actually make the things, but I don't have stuff really set up for that, so I'm still doing it manually. But what I can do is... I am having... Ooh. What? Oh, Hardcore Ender Expansion. Okay. Don't care about you. All I care about is the capacitors. So this should be able to handle uh, or dictionarying the things such as copper. So it shouldn't be an issue. Same with this. Now, it doesn't know how to make the electrical steel, so that'll be an issue, but shouldn't really be a huge problem. And... I may have to actually go in here and tell this how to... I may have to actually add proper things to it. Actually, let's do that. Let's grab a redstone block and a copper ingot. Now, if you take one of these, for example, not that, this, throw it in there, it'll unadjust itself. So let's find some tin it'll unadjust itself or more of it'll show you the current recipe set to it in this side and when you click, click encode it will re-encode it like for example this is not the kind of coal I'm going to want in here I'm going to want coal powder like so Blunk. and then just to finish the thing up throw this copper in here and I'm not going to have enough to really make anything at the moment, so, yeah. But, now we can put them in here, and we can see that we have all those recipes. And, I suppose this just leaves me with needing to make all the coal powder and getting more redstone. Mostly coal powder, though. So that's good. Uh, what else was I going to need? That's the question. I feel like I'm missing something right now. Oh, right. Uh, so, you don't have to be questioning what you're missing, because if you make, not the crafting journal, the crafting monitor. Oh, so if we look at the crafting monitor, it's pretty simple. Although, we apparently have zero Fluix dust. Solve that real quick. Plunk. And we have zero cable, which also requires Fluix dust. Why does this have to be such a pain? Crafting monitor. Plunk. And now whenever we're crafting something, 
it will tell us if we're missing anything and what it's currently doing in the crafting method. So, if we were to say, tell it we want, you know, hey, I want 120 capacitor banks. Any single time you update the system, it'll probably reset the crafting, but it's only going to be able to get through so many of these before either the electrical steel, which is probably going to be the first thing to run out. All right, you can see, hey, we're missing electrical steel, and I could eventually try and teach it how to make that, but yeah. Uh, what I am going to do is I'm going to melt down, or crush down technically. See, I upgraded this to a factory, so now I can do three stacks at once. So I'm going to need all of the silicon. Yep. So I'm going to call this good for now, and I will see you guys next time. Have a good day.